All right, so today we are going to be taking a look at the details of Global's newest campaign. Uh, I can guarantee you that it's not as exciting as the 8th anniversary on JP, but hopefully it's still solid, right? So with that said, let's pop into the news and take a quick look. So the campaign is called Overflowing Power Super Dokkan Campaign. Um, good name. I guess. So from the top, it says various offense, including burst mode, the second ever burst mode on global, a new Dokkan event, and a hidden potential activation campaign will be available. In addition, don't miss out on the login bonus that, sorry, login bonus and missions that allow you to get dragon stones and items that can be used to strengthen characters. Join the events and strengthen your allies. So, so far, this campaign sounds very, very generic. Okay, so the first thing we have are some special missions that give you up to 12 dragon stones. 12 dragon stones. I'm not really sure why they're advertising that on the banner here because 12 is just not a lot of stones. I gotta be honest, but I guess. Uh, it is what it is. So 12 stones from the missions. We have the login bonus, which is most likely just one stone per day. And then we have this Ginyu Force and Team Bardock hidden potential activation campaign. So this is actually kind of cool if you guys have been uh, super lazy or maybe you're newer players and you haven't had a chance to get the free-to-play Team Bardock and free-to-play Ginyu Force units done. Uh, now is definitely a good time to do that because you will get rewarded through this campaign for completing them, and I would say they're still very solid as far as fully free-to-play teams go. Um, they're still good enough to clear essentially all the Dokkan events in the game, and maybe some of the like mid-level events as well. You know, like they're gonna struggle in the hard events, of course they can't clear Red Zone or anything like that, but if you need some help with some of the easier events, and also just to get the rewards of course, then uh, make sure you get them done during the campaign period, which is uh, until March 21st. After that, we have the Dokkan Festival banner for the Tech Dokkan Festival banner, or sorry, <laughs> Dokkan Fest uh, Bardock, along with the side unit, which is an Int Tora. Uh, I did go through the entire breakdown of this release from the banner to their animations, their unit details, and all that good stuff in my pass or pull video from a few days ago, so make sure to go check that out. I'll put a link somewhere over my head. Uh, spoilers, I think the release is actually pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent. It's definitely an above average Dokkan Festival, I would say. So yeah, there's that. And then we have the uh, pack, the ticket pack for, of course, the Dokkan Best Banner. And also a burst summon. Okay, so I don't remember if this is like stone summon. If it is, if you're using dragon stones to summon for these characters, uh, I'm gonna say just don't do it because uh, it's most likely likely gonna be very bad value for your stones. And uh, of course, the choice is ultimately up to you. You guys can do whatever you want with your stones, but I just feel like you might want to stay away from this banner. Okay. After that, we have the uh, Dragonstone sale, which is pretty standard. You got your 32 stone pack twice, 91 stone pack four times, nothing special there. Uh, Elder Kai banner, standard as well. The Tokan event, of course, for the Tech Bardock. And some new missions for the Legendary Goku slash Legendary Vegeta events. Um, which is cool, I guess. I mean, it's kind of new content. We always always need new content. Um, it is lazy content, let's be honest, because it's just some missions. But nonetheless, it's something to do. So there you go. New missions for the Legendary Goku event, GT Legendary Goku event, and also the Legendary Vegeta event. Still waiting for a Legendary Villains event of some kind. You know, like Legendary Frieza event, Legendary Boo event. So on and so forth. I mean, it'd be cool, but if not, I guess we do have like stages within other events that are kind of like legendary events, but we need something for a villain. It's kind of like this. I'm just saying. Okay, 
After that, we have the revival or the renewal of a limit event. It's the uh, oh, the skill orb event, the skill orb event for uh, the team Bardock and Ginyu Force units. And then we also have uh, the new burst mode, which is for the uh, Bojack event, right? So that's what the burst mode is for. That's where where we're gonna be running the event. We're gonna be running to get those burst. Is it coins or burst points? I forgot what they're called, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's the new burst mode. And then we also have the new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash 53rd Battlefield on Global starting on the 1st, just like most things actually in this release. Yeah, on the 1st. And then we have obviously some story events returning. We got the Bardock event, we got the Ginyu Force event, Metal Cooler, uh, both Metal Cooler events as well. And the reopening of a challenge event. So this if I remember correctly, it was from... Oh man, I think it was one of the download celebrations, but I could be wrong. I believe it's one of the download celebrations. It's uh, kind of like one of those uh, nuking events, essentially, where you have to you know, kill a bunch of enemies within a certain number of turns, and then you move on to the next wave, and then you kill those guys within even less turns, and then the final wave, and uh, basically, if you complete uh, the you know entire stage you kill all the enemies you get all the rewards But you will get rewards along the way as well by just killing each wave, right? So um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like Refreshed so that like anyone that has already done it has already gotten the rewards from before and get them again That'd be pretty awesome, but I guess we'll see I guess we'll see and then we have the reopening of the extreme Z battle for the free-to-play piccolo uh, we have the opening of the Extreme Z area for these guys. Uh, Prime Battle available daily for L, our first form Frieza. Now, this guy still hits pretty hard. Uh, he's definitely dropped off um, overall, obviously, but you know, for a fully free to play LR, still pretty impressive, honestly. And then after that, we have a couple of strike events uh, available daily Andrew 16 and also the uh, Kid Vegeta. Uh, Bojack event available or Dokkan event available daily, which kind of makes sense, I guess, because it is the new burst mode, so it should be available daily, right? That makes sense. Um, from there, we have Extreme Z uh, Awakening, Extreme Z Dokkan Festival for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. This man really, really needed it badly, so very stoked for this one because. Uh, I need I want to use him again, you know, like he was completely useless before the Extreme Z Awakening like he was just basically unusable So now he'll at least have some use um, So that's cool And then uh, uh, story figures story figures category summon skip that uh, Extreme Z battle challenge pack Don't buy that unless you have a lot of money to burn I guess but not worth it and then the Extreme Z Battle event for the Bardock, which is available on uh, March 8th. We have some new characters that can be awakened or Extreme Z awakened through the uh, Mass Saiyan Extreme Z Battle event. And then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and Mass Saiyan Dokkan events available daily, of course. Um, a collection of epic battles, the event that felt like it was forgotten about, right, for the longest time, is getting some new stages. We have Explosive Chain Battle versus First Form Frieza starting on the 14th. Uh, this is starting on the 13th. So, I mean, based on the description in the beginning, I thought this was gonna be like a very bare event or rather bare campaign, right? Just with like very minimal events. But honestly, all things considered, it's not a terrible campaign. It's not a terrible campaign. It only looks terrible in relation to the JP side right now, which is on their anniversary, right? So I can't really, you know, we can't really compare the two sides at the moment, but uh, I would say, you know, it's like a, it's like a pretty eventful campaign, even though it, the name is dumb, but <laughs> it's a pretty decent campaign. So um, yeah, I would say I'm satisfied. I would say I'm satisfied. So look forward to all these things, guys, that we talked about. Um, uh, we'll take a quick look at the details for the hidden potential activation campaign just to see what kind of rewards we can expect. Um, okay, here's an explanation for like 
how to get the potential orbs. All right. And it looks like we get two dragon stones for uh, each character, maybe. So if that's the case, then we should be getting somewhere in the range of... I mean, it looks like a decent amount of stones, actually. Hold on, let me just quickly calculate this. Let me just quickly calculate this. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, uh, 18... Wait, hold on, why don't I just collect my missions? If I collect my missions... And I should get the rewards anyways, right? Because I already have these guys all done. So, boom. 33 stones. Wow. It's actually a lot of stones. <laughs> that's actually a lot of stones. Okay, so apparently 33 stones available through the um, Bardock, Team Bardock and Game Force event. So, definitely worth doing, guys. Definitely worth doing. And then we have the login bonus. You know, one stone per day few uh, other items, some sleepy guys, some training locations, training items, some keys, um, Hercule statues, right, the standard stuff, and special missions where you get up to 12 dragon stones. Well, that's cool. Okay, so that is going to do it, guys, for the news breakdown. That is the Tech Bardock um, campaign. Uh, some things to be excited about, to be honest, you know, there's some pretty interesting things, but overall, not the greatest campaign, but keep in mind, after this, in about two weeks or so, we are getting Saiyan Day, so that's gonna be huge, so, uh, yeah, just, just be patient, just be, the good stuff is coming, the good stuff is on the way, so, Thank you guys for watching. That's all I got to say. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.